today we're going to cover the target queue in QLab. The target queue does one specific thing, and that is to retarget the target of specific queues. The target queue works with the play queue, a stop queue, a pause queue, a load queue, a reset queue, a devamp queue, a go to queue, a target queue, an arm, and a disarm queue. And again, the target queue is located right here. You can add one to your workspace by clicking on it once or dragging and dropping it in. And it'll bring it in here. It's a pretty simple queue. It just has the first tab, which is just the common features and options that all queues share in QLab. And then it has a little tab. And this is where you're going to manually type in the number of the queue that you want this target queue to retarget. So for example, let's just take a play queue. Um, we would want to have this play queue be the tar target this to this target queue so that it knows which queue the target is going to affect. So I'll do that by dragging the play queue on to the target queue here and you'll see that that changes this to a 2. You'll notice that they both have red X's still. That's because first of all the target queue has no secondary target in, in, in this tab here. We'll assign that in a minute. And the play queue doesn't know what to play. So initially, I'm just going to go ahead and drop in an audio cue, a couple of them actually. And we'll initially have the play cue target Q3 here. So we'll click and drag him on to the play cue. And you can see that's changing the target to 3 for that one. And we're going to reassign this when this target cue fires. We'll have it reassign the play target to Q4 here. So I'll click on that and I'll type in 4 and then go back up here. I'm going to move this target queue down just to get it out of the way since we're initially going to just play this guy right here. We'll hit play and you'll notice that its target right now is set to 3. So it's just going to go ahead and play Q3. Now if we fire the target queue, it's going to retarget Q4's target. You'll notice it'll turn it to a 4 and it'll put it in brackets to let you know that it's been affected by a target queue. And so now when we hit the play button and move the playhead to this position over the play queue with this new target, it'll now play Q4. A couple things to notice. You'll notice that the playhead here moved down one Q and didn't go to where we targeted that Q, the target Q. And that's because it's not really, it isn't, that's not its job. If you wanted to do that, you would use a go to Q to move the playhead into the position where you want it to be next for your next part. So if we want to, if we hit the play button again, the target Q has still permanently affected this play Q here and still going to keep going to four over and over again. So if you want to reuse it in its initial state, you're going to have to add a reset queue to that. So you can click on that and just pick the one you want to do. You reset that by dragging the queue you want to reset back onto the play, onto the uh, reset queue. And you'll see that it's saying Q2. So if we fire this, it'll change this back to its default settings. You will not need to reset a target queue unless you're resetting the target queue that a target queue is targeting. Wow, that's a lot of saying targeting. <laughs> so that is the target queue. Uh, it is a powerful queue, lots of uses for it. I would love to hear how you guys end up using it. Um, it is a, a very amazing and powerful tool. All right, enjoy.